or with Conor McGregor getting his ass knocked out last night. I felt like this the perfect time to drop the video to let y'all know the two times okay for all went night night. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. You get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, everybody? Y'all already know, man. K-Fraud TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor and hit that like, subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. And as y'all already know, today we're gonna be talking about the two times in my life that I got knocked out. Now, before I get into this video, First thing I want to let y'all know is I have never been knocked out by another dude, like in a fight or anything like that. I know that's probably what a lot of y'all was waiting to see. Like, ooh, someone finally knocked Frog ass out. Or, boy, I knew Frog had his ass knocked out before. But nah, I just want to let y'all know off the rip that not once did someone like punch me in my face and knock me out. Or, you know, during a fight, I got knocked out. Never that. The two times that I was knocked out, I'm going to start with the first one. The first one, it happened when I was playing football when I was younger. Yep. Believe it or not, when I was younger and I played football, because I played football for eight years. All right. I played four years for the Pasadena Panthers down here in Broward County. And then I played four years for the Davy Broncos. You know what I'm saying? Two different, uh, I'd say two different, you know, types of playing. That's like playing for the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. Because when I played with Pasadena Panthers, we won every single game. Every weight class won every single game. We would never lose. That's just how souped up Pasadena Panthers were. And then I played for the Davy Broncos, who were like the Miami Dolphins, to where we get happy as hell if we win one game a year. You understand? And that's how it was. But when this happened, you know, I got like crack backed if y'all know what that means like when you hit the hit stick when you playing madden it was basically the same way like that and i swear boy like i tried to go for the tackle and when i tried to go for the tackle his blocker came at the same time so i ran into him and the blocker at the same time and that shit literally knocked me out and the way i know it knocked me out was because i didn't feel it like don't get me wrong but all of a sudden Boom, I seen a light. I'm looking up at the damn, you know, sky laying there. And the whole rest of the, my team and the other team, we're all the way down there now. <laughs> you feel me? So, like, at first I wasn't sure if I really got knocked out. Like, it just happened so quick. You feel me? But it, it knocked me out. It did. And this is when I was real young, though. You know what I'm saying? And that shit to this day threw me. You know, because I, I done took some heavy punches and been hit with some haymakers and shit in fights. And I never, you know, had that problem of being knocked out. I've been hit, though, to where, like, you know, I, I, I was rocked. You know what I'm saying? My vision went around a little bit, but never been, like, fully <sighs> knocked out. You understand? But on this particular time, playing football, I did. Now, this other time I was knocked out, this one's even crazier. You feel me? This one here was when I was real little also. Um, me and my older sister, we had gotten a little conflict. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this was back when I used to watch wrestling when I was real young and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I swore you couldn't tell me wrestling wasn't real. Like I would, I would sit there and argue with you that wrestling was real. That's how much I was into it though. Back when they had like Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock. You feel me? Then they had on WCW, they had Sting. You know, Goldberg, you know, people like that. So I took that shit serious. You know, I was one of them kids that would be in my room and I'd get on top of the dresser and then jump off the damn dresser with a pot, like like a like a cooking sheet, and throw that bitch under my leg and do a leg drop on top of my teddy bears and shit. That's just how I was when I was younger. I was dead ass seriously into wrestling. You know what I'm saying? And if people felt like that shit wasn't real, you know, I'll do the move on them. We can get on a trampoline and I'll show you that shit real. You feel me? But anyways, so I got in an argument with my older sister. And uh, what happened was is she ended up ripping my Goldberg poster off the wall in my room. She came in my room and ripped the Goldberg poster. You know what I'm saying? So when she ripped the Goldberg poster, I went in her room and I ripped her Backstreet Boys poster off. You feel me? That's back when 
Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and all of them were real popular. You know what I'm saying? So she ripped my shit. I went and ripped hers. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you feel me? That, that's what it is. And then um, next thing you know, we got in a little argument or whatever. So I decided when she came back in my room, she ripped something else of mine. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I put on my football pads. This is when I was playing Pee Wee Tackle. I put on all my football pads. You feel me? Knocked on her door. My door's right here. Her door's right here next to mine in the house that we lived in at the time. So when I banged on her door and shit, she was yelling through the door saying, you better stop banging on my door. I'm going to come out there. I'm going to beat your ass. Da, 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 da. You know, she was selling me out through the door. So really, I was baiting her up though. You feel me? Because I was banging on the door, you know what I'm saying, to get her to open the door. So I bang, 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 kept banging it. And then a couple times I'd bang it and then I'd go run in my room. Fully dressed in my football gear now. So bang, 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 bang. You know, she kept saying she's going to open it. She's going to beat my ass. She didn't end up opening it. Bang, 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 bang. I do it again, do it again. Run back in my room. This time, once I heard her open the door and she opened the door and went to yell at me, I came running out of my room and curved real quick and ran and boom, just straight ran her over. You feel me? Knocked her dead on the ground. She started screaming and shit and all this stuff. But when I hit her, my helmet came off. You feel me? That's how I know I hit her real hard. You feel me? Because, you know, she's a girl. I'm a boy, so, you know, the parents are going to side with the girl regardless. You know what I'm saying? You're never supposed to hit your sister, you know what I'm saying? Which is true, you feel me? That's why I never would hit her, you know what I'm saying? So I did that, and then when my helmet came off, I got up, took off running, laughing, and ran down our hallway, like towards the kitchen. So when I was running down the hallway, she grabbed something real quick and launched it. Hit me dead in the back of the head, just out of luck. That's one of the things where you're running like this. And then, boom, next thing you know, I woke up, and I was looking at the corner of the wall, bro. That shit knocked me clean out. And you never believe what it was. It was a shot glass, okay? A shot glass with Kenny from South Park on it. If you go to Spencer's, which is like a store down here in Broward, like at different malls, they sell little shot glasses with the South Park characters on it, whether it's Cartman, you know, uh, Kenny, and whoever else. But I got hit dead ass in the back of the head just off of her grabbing it and launching it. And it hit me. And it knocked me out. You feel me? Can y'all believe that? Like, that shit's crazy. You feel me? And like I said, I woke up and was looking at the corner of the wall like, what? Oh, shit. Let me get right. You feel me? And jumped up real quick and ran off. But, dog, she knocked me out with that, dog. I couldn't believe it. Those are the only two times that I've been knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Playing football with a shot glass. You know? But I done seen some people in prison get slept real good. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be throwing them. They'll be throwing them shits. And then all of a sudden, up oh, there he goes. You know, looks looks kind of like when you uh, when you play the, 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 the fight night or the, or the you know, the, the fighting games and shit. And when it does the knockout, how they look all slurred and shit. That's what, it, that's what people will look like when they really get knocked out in real life. Now, anybody can be knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I can't be knocked out. You feel me? I can. Anybody can. It don't matter who it is. Real shit. You know? It's all on who you end up coming across. And on top of that, it ain't even got to be someone you come across. It could be a damn situation like that happened to me. You feel me? Anything can happen. You know, you could get knocked out over the simplest shit. Not even, you know, it just happens. I had my homeboy one time when I was at DeSoto. My other dog went up behind him and got him in the yoke real quick and was just playing with him. And he didn't even think that he, like, yoked him that much. He was just leaned up against the stairway inside of our uh, two-man cells, inside of our uh, T building. He was leaned up against the stairway like this. He was high on Tunchi. And my other dog came down the stairs and, uh, come here, and just yoked him real quick, just playing around. But when he let him go, he straight fell. Bam! Hit the ground and was knocked out. You see, like... It's just that split second, you know? And there's always someone bigger and badder than you out there. No matter who it is. You see what I'm saying? And that's facts, you know? It only takes so many pounds of pressure, you know what I'm saying? To, to rattle your shit and knock you out. You get what I'm saying? And as y'all seen last night, Conor McGregor got whooped. You feel me? Conor McGregor, you know, and as much shit as he talks, he's still a good fighter though. You feel me? Anybody can be knocked out. But you have so many people out there... That swear they can't be. There's a difference. You got literally a big old population 
of people who know they can't be knocked out. I mean, know they can be knocked out. And then you have the other population of people who swear up and down they'll never be knocked out. And the people who say that is people who ain't seen people get knocked out or ain't been in that type of situation theirself. And if you definitely ain't been in no type of situation or any fights or anything like that, then there's actually a higher chance on you that you may get knocked out. You feel me? Because you could be fighting someone who don't even know how to grid. Someone that's, you know, y'all are in the paint chucking them shits and y'all don't, he don't even know how to fight. But he's fighting out of being scared and shit. And all it takes is for him to throw one wild one that comes way over here like he's throwing a fucking baseball. And, and you know what I'm saying? That one wild one that you ain't paying attention to because you're underestimating him because you don't think he knows how to bump. Because he's even saying, I don't want to fight. I don't know how to fight. But he's out of scare, scaredness. He's cocked that bit back. And all it takes is that one little slip up for you to go night night. It happens all the time. You feel me? But what I want people to do though is I want people to drop in the comment section anytime that you feel me that you got knocked out. You know, I'm not the only one in the world. Some weird shit like that doesn't happen to. You get what I'm saying? Whether you got knocked out in a fight or whether you know a damn head on collision like I did with playing football or someone threw something and happened to hit you directly in the back of the head. You know, drop it in the comment section. I like, to, I like to hear different stories. Because I don't know about these other YouTube channels and I ain't even going to speak on them clowns. But I answer my comments, you understand? I, I, I read every comment. I try to heart all my comments. You know, if it's some stupid, sh you know, stuff. If it's just some dead-ass dumb shit, I ignore it. You get what I'm saying? So I, I, I basically, I do check my comments and everything. I like to see what people put in there. I love to read all the different, you know, things people went through. You get what I'm saying? Because it shows when I'm speaking on things, people understand and can relate. Even if it ain't the same exact way that I was knocked out, people can still relate and understand that anyone can be knocked out. You get what I'm saying? I don't care how big you are. I don't care how muscular, how tatted. I don't care if you got gold teeth, tats all on your face. I don't care if your record is 55-0. and 0. I don't care if you're undefeated. Anybody can be knocked out. Literally. And that's facts. You feel me? So, like I said, just drop it in the comment section. Y'all try to keep it a little clean, though. You feel me? But you get what I'm saying, that. But me personally, like I said, it just blows my mind, bro. And that's one of the that's one of the uh, memories that I hold on to as a kid. That damn dog, I got hit dead ass in the back of the head with a shot glass, dog. That had Kenny on it, which is my first name. Had Kenny on it from South Park. You feel me? Kenny from South Park, dog. I could not believe that. You feel me? Like, when it happened, it didn't seem like nothing that serious at the time. It ain't like I was like, damn, bro, I just got knocked out or nothing. Because, like I said, I was younger. You know what I'm saying? But I've told my bunkies and shit this story before. You feel me? Like, if they ask, bro, you ever been knocked out? I tell them, not in no fight. Never been knocked out in a fight. I've been dazed a couple times, but never been knocked out. You feel me? I wish I had a story of being knocked out because then I could tell y'all about it. Like, yeah, bro, when I was knocked out, bitch, I seen Tupac. I was talking to Tupac and Biggie, bro. Like, I like I wish, you know, I, I mean, I don't want an experience like that to where I get knocked out and see some people that are in the clouds, you know what I'm saying? But if I had it, I would be sharing it with y'all, you feel me? And I know a lot of people clicked on this video because they wanted to see, oh, boy, Frog got knocked out, ha, ha, ha. They want to try to ride me and sell out and everything, ah, you, you feel me? But shit, there ain't no shame in my game, you know what I'm saying? Because I can still say with my chest out that no dude knocked me out. You feel me? No one squared off with me and knocked me out. And like I said, I'm not saying it ain't possible. It is possible. You feel me? But I'm not going to make this video that long. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to give you all the two times. You know what I'm saying? That old fraud went night night. You see what I'm saying? That shit just threw me. And I ain't going to lie. When I got knocked out playing football, when I got up, boy, my neck was killing me. You hear me? My neck hurt me, bro. And I couldn't even go to practice for like four days after that. Straight up, my neck was so, like, messed up, dog. Like, if I cracked something when it happened, bro. But it just, it happened so quick, you know, I wasn't expecting it, you know. When you're playing on defense and shit, like, I play defensive tackle and linebacker and stuff. I was on the def I was on the defense side of the field all the time. You get what I'm saying? I wasn't no offensive player. You feel me? But sometimes they did use me, though, like, on offense. You feel me? Like, if they needed me to play, like, 
you know, like a, a, a blocker right there in the front on the side of the, the nose guard. You know what I'm saying? Like right there. Like if we're going for it on the yard line. You know, I've always been chubby. You feel me? So they put me right there on the front and have me guard them real quick if they going for it. Fourth and goal. Well, let's get him on now. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But once, once you know what I'm saying? Like by me being on defense, you know how it is. You don't want no one running you over when they run the ball. You feel me? So that's what I was, you know, preventing from happening. You get what I'm saying? Like I was running up and I was trying so hard to collision with the person that was running the ball that I didn't pay attention to his blocker at the same time. And they both collisioned me, dog. And it, like I said, I just remember, boop, power button off, boop, power button on. I'm looking up like, what the hell? Like, what the, you feel me? And then when I look, they're still running downfield. My whole team and that team's down there, about 30 yards. I'm like, oh, yeah, boy, I went night-night. You see what I'm saying? Like, and that's facts. The only other time something like that ever happened, like, with me to where, like, on and off was uh when I was younger, man, you had them people that would, like, let their homeboys grab them right here and shit and make them hold their breath and put them to sleep. You feel me? I tried that one time, you know, just to, just to, when I was younger, just to see if it actually worked. And, uh, I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I, I skimmed my nose when that shit happened because he told me to hold my breath and I tried it. And when, I, when, he, when he did it, he let me go. My, the people that was around me were supposed to be, you know, they supposed to be like the catchers. They supposed to catch me if I fall. They ain't catch me though. They let me fall. And it was in front of this kid's house when I was younger also. All this shit took place when I was younger, you feel me? And, uh, they didn't catch me like they were supposed to. And one of the kids that was there, he had his bike upside down and he was oiling the chain. So he was like going like this and then hitting it with WD-40, you feel me? So that way he can oil his chain up real good. So when I fell, not I don't know if it was the tire moving or just the front tire that was just sitting still. But when I fell, I hit the tire. And then boom, I opened my eyes, I'm on the floor. Like, oh shit. They were all helping me out laughing. Like it happened so quick. I don't even think they were doing, I don't even think they knew they were doing it right. That's why they didn't catch me in time. You feel me? And I got up and I had like rug burn, bro. Like right on my nose, dog. Like all right here, bro. You feel me? But I don't consider that as a knockout here. You know what I'm saying? Because that was just like being put to sleep. But I've never been put to sleep in a fight either, though. You see what I'm saying? Like I've never had that happen to me either. And that can happen to anyone too. You know, I've seen some people be put to sleep in prison on the streets and in school when I was younger. The juvenile programs, off rip, so I'm going to put you to sleep. Let you go and then stomp your head in. You see what I'm saying? So it can happen to anybody, you know, but I just wanted to do this little video, give y'all a little, it's more of like a, it's more of like a little, uh, you know, a background story of me, you know what I'm saying? More than it is prison related, you feel me? But, you know, people like to know things like this, you know, because I'm one of the people that will tell you it is possible that you can be knocked out, you feel me? I'm not going to come on here and sugarcoat and lie and say, man, ain't no one knocking me out, bro. I don't care who it is, bro. Boy, I ain't never been knocked out. Boy, ain't no one finna knock me out. Because it is possible. Look how much shit Connor was talking. And he got knocked out. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, it don't matter. You could be the damn underdog or you could be the, the Omega. It don't matter who it is, boy. They going, a fight boy can turn around just like that, bro. Straight up. You could be getting in a fight with someone, tussling in your cell, and then y'all are slinging each other, and then you sling both of y'all, and then as y'all go to fall on the bunks, you hit your head on the bunk. Boop. That's it. You can... Be knocked out and that dude will stomp your teeth out. That shit's possible, man. I had a homeboy I went to school with named Demetrius. You feel me? I went to school. He was like the only kid that was in my school at the time that had a mouthful of golds. I ran into him in prison. Years later, all of his golds were missing. All of his golds. He said his own homeboys knocked him out and took his golds out of his teeth. They knocked him out, however they did it, and they, and they took his golds out of his mouth. He had perms, so they took his teeth. He woke up and his teeth were missing. You see what I'm saying? Like, anything can happen to anybody. You feel me? But like I said, y'all go ahead, man. Have some fun in the comment section. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let me know sometimes. Either you knock someone out or someone knocked you out. Or even if it's like some little shit. Like, you could be on a swing. You could be swinging on a swing next to your kids having fun. And you go too high up and flip and land on your head the wrong way. Boy, and it'll knock you out. Now, I know y'all be seeing all these different little funny videos and shit of different people getting knocked out. There's all types of different things. So it ain't got to purposely be a fight. You understand? I just wanted to share the experiences that I had with, you know, going night-night. You feel me? And I wanted to do something different than anyone else would because I ain't never seen no one mention them going night-night like this. You feel me? So that's why I made this video. But anyways, man, 
appreciate y'all watching to take the time to hear my little backstory on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't really go too far into like when I was a kid and stuff like that. You feel me? I mean, maybe I start with, you know what I'm saying? Maybe next time I'll let y'all know when I was stabbed two times. You feel me? Y'all might like that one. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video on up. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We're about to hit 6K on my gaming channel, K Frog Gaming. Like I said, well, when I hit 8K, I'm going to be giving away two PlayStation 5s. And I go live on there, if not once, two times every single day. A lot of people always hit me up asking when I'm going to do a live stream over here on K Frog TV. Um, I just feel like when people go live, I feel like they don't have content. So they're just trying to act like they got content. You feel me? So, And I realized I used to do that a lot. I used to go live, you know, just to give a video. You feel me? But, you know, going live all the time, that ain't really for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I do it on my gaming channel, which is just as much. So, like, people got questions they want to ask me and, you know, stuff like that. They always ask me to go live over here on k Frog Gaming. I'm on there, boy, on the headset, playing the game. I chat with my comment, you know, my, my people that are watching everything. So, it's it's basically like you can see me live over there every day. You feel me? But I will start doing maybe some Q&As or something on here eventually, you know, just to show my appreciation to everybody. You know, shout everyone out who's in the comment section. Let everyone know that I truly appreciate it. Because I ain't shit without y'all. You feel me? But I am happy to say that I'm about to hit 8K sooner or later on the gaming channel. We're about to hit 6K right now. We're somewhere like in between 5,500. But that 8K is going to come. And then I'm going to be so happy when I get released two PlayStation 5s I got. But anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video on up. You know, I try not to make them too long. I try not to bore y'all. I try not to make them too short. You feel me? I'm not a news reporter. You get what I'm saying? So I just try to, you know, give y'all that real spill. And I appreciate everyone that went and bought that merch, matter of fact, that I just dropped called Real Spill, too. You feel me? I went over there and looked at my analytics on there, and that shit was booming off the chain. A lot of people like that Real Spill. I appreciate that, too, man. I mean, it means a lot. Anyways, man, y'all have a good day. And y'all already know, man, keep them squares at your circle and them snakes at your grass. Till next time, it's Frog.